Hi guys and welcome again. So in this lecture we're gonna solve or do the exercise that I have put for you. We're gonna do this exercise. Okay? So as you can see we have this shape and there is the dimensions of each object or each item of this shape and we're gonna start to create it. So where to start? You can start from any point, but if it was for me, I will start from here, okay? So first of all, we're gonna create a line starting from this point to this point. And the dimension of this line or the length of this line is 3 units. Let's go. Go to line command and then start from any point here. And let's type what, as I told you. At what we with an angle of zero. Okay. As you can see, let's zoom in. We have created this line. You can just turn off the grid mode if you don't want it. I don't like to work when the grid mode is on. Or you can just leave it on. I don't, I don't care. Okay. So we have created this line with three units in length. Go back to the drawing. We have this line, which is 1.5 in length. And how we are going to draw it? We're going to do the add sign. We, I'm sorry, no, 1.5. An angle of what? 90, right? Because we're going up. Now we have what? We have this aligned line, right? And it has a length of what? We don't know the length of this line. But we have the coordination of this line. It has a 0.75 coordination on the z-axis or it has a projection of 0.75 on the x-axis and it has a projection of what? This whole length is 2 and this part is 1.5 so this part in here will be what? It will be 0.5, right? Let's draw on it. So, let's see what we have here. Let's go to the red. So, this one from here to here will be what? Point zero five. Because 2 minus 1.5 will be 0.5. Okay, let's go and draw a aligned line. With a x projection of 75.75 and then in the z axis of what? 0.5. But as you can see, this line is starting from this point, right? And then it will move minus 0.75 because it's moving to the left. So in the coordination system, moving from this point to this point. We are going on the minus sign, right? So we will move minus 0.75, then we'll go 0.5. Let's draw it. So, as we said, let's put what? At sign. Now we'll do the coordination entry, not the polar entry. Let's type what? I'm sorry, minus 0.75 slash what point five enter and as you can see we have created this aligned line very simple and easy let's continue now we're moving from what from this point to this point and as you can see let's move this cancel how are we going to move this from here?
as you can see, the length of this one is 1. So let's create a horizontal line with, four, with a length of 1. So we'll do what? You can whether enter it with the coordinate entry or in the polar entry. Let's do it in both. I will start with the polar entry. We do what? At the length of the line, which is 1. We do the smaller than sign. Then the angle of this line will be what? You know the, how the direction works. We're starting from 0, 90, 180, 270, 3, and 60. And we're working anti-clockwise. You know how it's working, right? So if you want it horizontal on this line, we will type what? 180, right? Now press enter. And we have created the line. Let's go to the drawing again. We have this aligned line, right? But what? We don't know. We don't have any coordination of this line. So let's leave it here and let's continue the drawing from here and just match the line from this point to this point. Okay? So we have started from this point, right? And now we have to move up what? Vertically with 0.25. But first of all, let's do this again in the coordinate entry, okay? So, we have put this in the polar entry. Let's do Ctrl Z for the undo. Now let's use the coordinate entry, okay? You have to type at what is the length or what is the x coordinate of this line? It will be 1. Slash. In the y axis, we're not moving, so we will type 0. And now enter. No, we have entered it wrong. Why? Because we are moving minus 1, not moving 1 as we did here. This has to be at minus 1 slash 0. Right? So control Z again. And let's type at minus 1 slash 0. Okay. And now it's created. So now press enter to end the session. And let's start as we said from this point. So as we said, we will move what? 0.25 in the vertical direction. And again, you can use whether the coordinate entry, the relative coordinate entry, or the polar entry. Anything you think it is easier. So I'll do it in the polar. At 0.25, since it's going in the positive direction, right? Then we'll do it in angle of what? 90. And then we have this. Go back to the drawing. We have this line from here to here, starting from this point. And the length of this line will be what? Let's see. This whole line is 3. This line here is 2.25. So this line will be what? 3 minus 2.25. It will be 0.75, right? 0.75. Let's do it. So we'll move 0.75 in the positive direction, right? At 0.75 in the angle of 0, right? Now, let's go back to the drawing. From this point to this point, moving up toward 0.5. At 0.5, an angle of 90. See? And then moving this distance from here to here is the same as this from here to here. So we'll move what? 0.75. But it will be minus since we are moving from the right to the left. 
So it will be at minus 0.75 at the angle of, or you can do it what? You can just do control Z at the wrong 0.5 in the angle of 90. Okay, we'll do it what? 0.75 but in the right angle, right? So we'll do it at. 0.75, we don't have to enter the minus, because we when you enter the minus, let's do it, show you how it works. Minus 0.75 in the angle of 180, enter C, the negative sign will flip the working, will flip the line, since we have to put it positive from here to here, but it was flipped since we entered the minus. If you entered the angle right, you don't have to enter the minus sign. And this is when we're using the polar coordinate entry, okay? So, control Z. Let's do it again. At 0.75 in the angle of 180. Enter. Now, we're moving up from here to here, and we have here 1.25, and this plus this will be what? Will be 0.75. So, this will be what? 0.5. Just do the calculation. Now, going here at 0.5 in the angle of 90, enter, and then you have just to connect this point to this point. Press enter to end the session, and we have created this shape. It is smaller, and I will show you that it will work the same. See? And this is just perfect. Now we have created the shape, but we have to do to put the dimensions, right? Let's do it together. As I told you, you have to go to what? To the dimension. Since all the dimensions are linear, we'll do the linear one, okay? We'll pick the linear dimension. So, we have one from here to here. And it is very large, so I have to make it smaller. How we do it? You go to what? D. Wait for it. We go to the dimension style, and then we go to modify. We will make not the text, we'll make everything smaller. So let's do, for example, the fit. Okay, I'll show you in the next lectures how to put the dimensions. And for now, we have created this problem.